Hey everyone, this is Diana from Armis and Love, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your ribbon. Now, this is a shoe rack that I bought off of Amazon, and what I did is just put my spools of ribbon on there. Now, this can only work for certain sizes, like for instance, um, the Hobby Lobby ribbon works very well on here. But like the ribbon I get from Joanne Fabric um, doesn't fit as well on there. So then I have to make like this extra hole in here, just kind of puncture it so it will fit and it fits tight. So today I'm going to show you how I went ahead and did this. Now this is kind of unstable when you start pulling these apart. So the other ones may or may not come apart as you do this. So I'm just going to show you a couple things. Okay, so like for instance with this here, I want to pull this apart. Pull these off. And take out the empty spools. So then this is all I have to do. And then I can put these right back on. Now if you have tons of ribbon on here, that may not work as well, but that's basically how you can just put them on just like this. Each individually, and then you want to put it back into here because you can bend it. As you can see, it's bending, and then you want to push it really hard. Okay, sorry about that. My camera shut off for some reason. So anyways, um... Yeah, it's about $20, um, and you can use it for organizing all your ribbon. And it's really simple and easy, and it's lightweight, so you can take it with you places. Now, I am going to suggest that um, you add tape to the ends, especially if you're going to move it. So, um, what I would do would just add a little piece of tape right here, and just tape it down so that the ribbon doesn't keep rolling, because sometimes it will do that. Um, once you do something with it, like if it's not tight against other things, it'll just keep rolling once you start pulling it off. And I hate that. I hate it so much. So if you just add like a little piece of tape at the end, that'd be great. Also, um, I have this chevron. If you did purchase any of this, um, when I showed you the previous video, these actually will fit because it's just styrofoam in the middle. So you could just kind of shove it through and then put it back on. So those fit as well. And it's they're gonna be a little bit more difficult um, to move around back and forth because it's really tight, but that's actually a good thing. So you could just kind of pull like this, cut off what you need, and then tape it up if you want to, and that's it. So that's it pretty much for this tutorial. Um, my other ribbon that doesn't fit like this, the wholesale ribbon, um, I usually just stack these into like a container and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so I use these little totes here and I got it off of a like toy organizer with my daughter and one that she doesn't use anymore but you can probably buy these from like Walmart or Target um, in probably any size that you want but this one works for me and I organize them by size so normally this wouldn't be in here. And then, of course, you could just, all you need to do, and when I you have it completely stuffed, it works great. Otherwise, you can just add something to the side here so it doesn't keep falling over. And you just pull them out, cut, and that's it. So these work great, like I said, um, and they're for the wholesale ribbon. If you have these small ones in there, they probably wouldn't work as well unless you have something a little bit more shallow. And it's a waste of space, so... Alright, so the, here's the wholesale ribbon, and I'll leave a link to um, where I purchased this from. And this is probably the cheapest way that I could find to organize my ribbon right now. Now, um, there's probably some few other ways that you could probably um, create something or whatever, but um, right now this is the, like I said, the cheapest way I could find out, um, find how to organize my ribbon, and also because you can move it around and it's very light. So, all right, so that's it for this video. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.